Again, if your job is to post about your artist's YouTube content on the company's Twitter account, you're now able to do this mostly automatically. My name is Max Bernstein, and this is Industry Automations. We make custom Airtable databases for music industry clients. Let's dive right in. I'm going to go to our third tab here, which is an entirely new tweet. Sorry, entirely new zap. We're going to call this YouTube to Airtable. So we'll go to YouTube, and we're going to select the trigger new video in channel. And then it asks you for the channel and you can open up this and it shows you how to indicate the channel. So it's that. I'm guessing Gucci Mane doesn't have that in here. They've got their custom channel handle there. So let's do this. Let's go to any one of these videos. The thing that's different. Let's go to any one of these videos. Let's right click. Let's say copy link address. Let's paste it. Mute that. Sorry. Copy link address to Gucci's page. Paste it. That's where you're going to get the channel ID. Go back here. Paste it. Continue. Test trigger. It should find the most recent video. Boom. What did it find? Gucci Mane, CEO, Flow, Freestyle. I'm guessing that is the most recent Gucci Mane video. Well, it's a good recent one. Here we go. CEO, Flow, Freestyle. All right. So now that we've got the video, the action is going to be to put it in our Airtable content calendar. We'll say create a record. The base is industry records. Table is social media. Refresh the fields, the copy. There's not going to be any copy yet because we're not going to. That's the one thing we're missing before this can actually be scheduled. Um, the image, we could bring in an image from the YouTube channel. Let's do that. Um, let's see, image. Let's see all the options here. Thumbnail, default, sure. Thumbnail, max res, how about that? Okay, the status, we'll just do in progress. The hashtags, um, the only hashtag we'll include is, we'll call it YouTube and we'll call it Gucci Mane. We'll say platform is going to be Twitter. Post time, we don't want to indicate content link. We don't want to indicate, or we don't have yet. Copy link, we definitely want to link to the URL of the YouTube video. And the character count we don't have, okay. So we've got all that, great. Continue. And then test action, and now watch, let's see it show up here. Boom. And we've got copy link, YouTube, character limit, image, post time, boom. And then let's go here. Let's publish our last tweet. I'm sorry, our last zap from Airtable to Twitter. So now that's ready. Let's log in, see what's been posted on YouTube. The information's already been populated in our content calendar. Let's Indicate a post time, in this case, let's say 1C, 
16. That is going to be in two minutes. Let's say, oh, let's make it a little longer for a second here. We'll say 118 and we'll say, um, and here's the tweet from the YouTube automation portion of lesson 12. Okay. It is 115. We are going to make this 116. We're going to make this ready to post. I'm going to do nothing. We're going to wait a minute. I will sit here and check my phone. In editing, I will speed everything up so you're not actually sitting here waiting. But what you're going to watch and see happening is the tweet's going to get posted. It's going to get linked back here. Timestamp's going to appear. Status is going to change from ready to post to posted. And that is going to be the video. So let us sit here and wait. Now, while we're waiting, one thing I will tell you is that that function where we said post time is greater than now, parentheses, now is not precise. It's not checking back every second. So now might be one or two minutes delayed. It might be three or four minutes delayed, but that's okay. Cause in this case, we're not trying to be precise. We don't need something to happen on the exact second. Um, if it happens at one, one sixteen or one seventeen or one eighteen, whatever, um, all of that is totally fine with us. So at the moment, the time on my computer says one sixteen. Post time is indicated for one sixteen. It may take up to two minutes longer for this to turn to one, which would then put it into the trigger, which would then start the whole process. So let's sit here and wait. All right, here we go. This has changed to one. In the view, my Zapier account is such that it looks for new triggers every two minutes. Boom, found it. Status has changed to posted. Tweet link is here. Let's open it up. And here's the tweet from the YouTube automation portion of lesson 12. Boom. Go to the Twitter account. You see we've got both of these tweets fully automated. Imagine the scale of how this can help you if you're the person at the record label responsible for putting content on the company's pro Twitter, Twitter account about every artist or at least a group of artists on the roster. If you're a manager of the artist or if you are um, the artist themselves, maybe it's your job to tweet about your own YouTube content when it comes out. This saves you from having to A, remember that you have to do that and B, having to manually open up YouTube, copy the link, bring it into Twitter, boom, 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 post it, schedule it, whatever you want to do. All of a sudden that's opening up an entirely new amount of time for you every day to focus on other things that matter. This has been Max Bernstein with Industry Automations. We make custom Airtable databases for music industry clients. And I'll see you in the next video.